Okay, brilliant. So it looks like most people are with us. Um, so I will start by introducing um, myself. So my name is Rachel. I'm one of the business development executives with Sparks. Um, so also on the call today, we've got Kerry. Um, so Kerry's giving you a little wave now. Um, Kerry's also a business development executive. So we today are going to introduce you to Sparks Maths. So Everybody at the moment will be either using Virtual Classroom um, as a resource or maybe you've registered and, and you're looking to start using it and exploring it. Um, and today we're just going to give you a little insight into the other things that Sparks Maths provides um, and maybe a few things that, that you weren't aware of as well. So I'm going to start with a little bit of housekeeping. Um, so just to um, say that this session is being recorded. Um, so please feel free to turn off your webcams and your microphones if you don't feel comfortable to have them on. Um, this recording will be sent to you via email afterwards um, and it will also be posted on the... Um, let's see, I've got Mohammed as well. Hi, I'm Mohammed. So it will also be posted on the Sparks Community Facebook group. Um, so again, if you want your uh, camera off, then please do so. Um, if I could ask as well um, for microphones just to be muted, um, this really just helps with a little bit of background noise. Um, at the moment, there is a bit of a varied background noise, uh, dogs barking, kids uh, screaming, and also significant others as well chatting away. So, um, so if you could do that, that'd be fab. Um, we do have a chat box in action today. So just to the top right of your screen, um, you will see a, a little speech bubble next to a little person icon. Um, if you do want to add um, some questions or, or some chat as we're going through them, please feel free to do so. Everyone will see it. Um, and Kerry is on the call and will be answering some of those questions as we go. Um, there will be a, a Q&A session towards the end, so you can ask away any questions then or, or after the call uh, and the webinar if you, if you want to as well. Um, finally, we really hope this is helpful for you. Um, and any feedback, uh, please let us know because we love feedback at Sparks. So if you could do that for us, that would be great. Um, brilliant. So I'm going to be jumping around a couple of my different screens. Um, so first of all, if I just tell you a little bit about Sparks Maths. Um, so at the moment, you'll be using the, the free resource, which has been developed and created um, during school closure for um, the particular time at the moment. Um, Sparks Maths is the full version is a classroom and also a homework solution. Um, Classroom has homework automatically feeding into it, but you can also subscribe to a homework solution as a standalone as well. So I'm going to show you um, via my screen uh, just here. Now, I hope you can all see this. Um, I think you can because I can see it on mine. So that is always a reassuring start. Um, so you're probably very familiar to um, this particular screen because at the moment you'll be picking your topics and your lessons um, to deliver to your students. Um, but we're going to start by exploring a couple of key things um, which you at the moment won't be familiar with or have access to. Um, so for example, our first initial um, element that we want to talk to you a little bit about is the, the data integration. So at the moment when you're sending links over to your students, that works slightly differently in, in full Sparks Maths. So as you would normally do, you can click and you can choose your lesson. And when you go through and enter that lesson, rather than having to send a link to your students, you'll see that your students here are already populated. So within Full Sparks Maths, we integrate in with your um, student management system. We pull that data in. So your class is already populated. And what that does also is it creates your student their own, their very own profile. And what this profile is designed to do is to save their work. Um, so you can refer back to it at any stage. Um, but also what it will do is it will track their progress. So you have all of that within your teacher portal. Um, also, the slight difference for students when they're logging into a lesson is you'll see just at the top here of the screen, there's a unique code. So for every single lesson that you deliver to your students, there is a code here. So your students will use that code and they'll log in. And you'll see on the screen here when they've joined that lesson. And what that looks like for your students is a little something like this. So when they are on their, um, their own student profile, 
they will have the option to join a lesson or do some homework. And when they go in to join that lesson, they simply type in this code here and then it will take them through to their questions when they start answering those different tasks um, that, um, uh, that the system is, is setting them through the topic that you've chosen. And in regards to um, the topics that you can choose for the lessons, at the moment you, you have that search feature where you can choose any topic that you like. And an additional feature that we can do within Full Sparks Maths is this, um, this uh, lesson bank here, it can be aligned to your scheme of learning. So if you have a sequence which you're following throughout that academic year, this particular uh, planner here can map that for you. So you then have it broken down into your different terms. Um, and also, as well as mapping to your scheme of learning, we also provide something called the Spark Scheme of Learning. So you can adopt that if you are looking for a scheme of learning to implement in your school as well. Now, the biggest thing and one of the main features we want to talk to you a little bit about today is um, homework. So within Virtual Classroom, you may not have even seen or heard of our homework feature. Um, and what homework is designed to do is any teacher that is using Spark Lessons, whatever content you have delivered and taught your students will then automatically infill into the homework planner. And what you will see here is a blank homework planner. And week by week, that content that you're delivering will start populating as you go through. If you are a school that uses standalone homework, maybe, so maybe you deliver your lessons separately to Sparks Maths, um, and you deliver your homework every single week through Sparks, you can build this planner here. So week by week, this is what the planner will look like. And it will show you what, what content is going to be assigned to your students weekly. Um, what is brilliant about the homework is it is bespoke to every single student that uses it. So the algorithm within the system will work with that student profile and it will assign content at the right attainment level for your students. So it will make sure they've got the right level of challenge and it will make sure as well that it adapts to them as they go through that, that journey of learning that particular topic and that content. Um, what you typically see within the homework is you'll see 60% of content which um, has uh, been mapped to that content they've been learning in lessons that week. But you'll also see 30% of retrieval coming through. So maybe those topics they haven't quite mastered yet, they will revisit throughout the academic year. And then finally, you get 10% of revision. So again, it's bringing in those topics and those areas for students to make sure they're fresh and, and reminding their brains for when they're going through then to assessments towards the end of the year or maybe a midterm assessment. Also with homework, you get even more insights. So at the moment within the lesson speech that you're using, you will have a number of insights that will tell you how students have got on and it will populate red and green. Um, within homework, you also get those additional um, insights. So you can really track and see how students are getting on when they're working through their homework. Um, you can see if they've maybe attempted to do a bit of optional or target work, which is those additional um, elements that they can access. And you can also click in and see progress. So we break it down for you so you can see if they've accessed a video, if they've maybe had multiple attempts, and if there's any early misconceptions where there's maybe a bit of tailored intervention needed. And again, very similar to the, um, to the lessons, this um, particular insight and this progress reporting will be captured for you. So it's always there for you. When you go into your teacher portal, it's there. It's a constant log and something you can refer back to as well. So when a student goes into their own student profile, they will have maybe that, um, addition, that um, initial sorry, option to, to enter a lesson and type in a code, or they can go into their homework blog. So what we do is we create weekly tasks, but we also keep those ones that maybe they haven't quite got to yet and that maybe are still outstanding or late. And what they can do is when they go into a task and they're working through their questions, they have a number of items. 
Now, one of the additional features that I wanted to mention that isn't currently available within virtual classroom is something that we call book work. So when a student is working through their, their answers and their, their questions, we have something called book work. So every single question has a unique code. And what we get students to do is write that code down in a blank exercise book or a notebook and then do their workings out to this question or whatever question they're working on underneath. The reason we have this feature within Sparks is because the importance of, of writing things down is, is so important for that retrieval, but also it promotes and demonstrates understanding of, of that particular topic area or that question and, and what they're being asked to present. Um, and finally, it's great preparation for written assessments. Just to show you what that looks like in a student's book, um, this here is an example of, of a student using Sparks and how we get students to, to um, organise their workbooks and put things really neatly in an order as well. Um, and that is all done through those codes just to set it out and make sure it's organised. Also, those codes are really, really useful. If you as a teacher want to refer to that child's workbook to see those workings out or those jottings, you know B10 is, um, is unique to this particular question here. And finally, one of the extra additional features that, that you get within homework and also within Full Sparks Maths is there's a parental engagement piece. So when that student receives that homework in their inbox, their parent or their guardian also receives an email to say your child has this homework this week. And what it will do is it will highlight the, the homework and it will include a topic video. So your students at the moment, when they're accessing and answering their questions, they'll already be familiar with these little nudge videos. And what we do within that parental engagement um, and that email is we include this short little video um, to really help and support that home learning for that child. Finally, um, within Full Sparks Maths, we do have, um, at the moment you have your support feature, which you can go to and, and access, but we do have a support team. So any of these features that you want to learn more about or find out more information, we do have a team um, who are there to um, support you with that. So when a school uh, joins the Sparks uh, family and community, you have a dedicated liaison. And they are there to, to learn about your school and to support you through that um, journey of using Sparks um, to really get all of the powerful benefits out of it. Um, the final element that I just want to highlight as well um, is around student rewards. Um, so we've gone through various different um, features. I've probably given you maybe more than five things you didn't know. Um, hopefully I have. But we do have um, a reward system as well. So as your students are going through, going back to that really clever algorithm, what it does is it learns your student through their profile. It learns when they're progressing through a topic. It learns when they're making that progress and, and starting to embed and understand those um, topics. And the system will start rewarding points. Now, these points aren't rewarded on how many questions you can answer or how quick you can do them. They are bespoke and individual to every single student. And what that does for you as a teacher is it presents you with a really, really um, varied leaderboard. So if you do already maybe do merit systems within your school um, or that you do have reward systems in place, then this supports you with that. Um, and this just gives you an oversight of the points that students can collect and, and earn as well. Brilliant. So that takes me to the end of um, what I was going to show you on some of the extra features. I appreciate it is a whistle-stop tour, um, but it'd be great if we could move into a bit of a QA. and a um, I don't think there's been any live questions coming through, but if anybody wanted to ask anything now, then please feel free to, to jump in off your microphone um, or use that chat facility um, if you have any, any questions.
Wow, Rach, you must have explained it so well. Nobody's got anything to ask. <laughs> but it, it, <laughs> um, what we're going to do after this call, as I mentioned, this, this particular webinar will be sent to you by email. Um, so you will have a copy of this one. Um, but if anybody is interested um, in a trial of uh, Sparks Maths in uh, the, the classroom, um, which has homework in it, or just the standalone homework product, um, then you can get in touch with us. Um, we are offering a, a, a terms free trial, um, just so you can see those additional features um, and see whether they work as well for your students. Um, we ask for just a little bit of paperwork to be completed um, and also just commitment of a, a little bit of that initial training that I mentioned with your dedicated liaison. Um, that can be organised with myself or with Kerry on the call. Um, and if you are interested in that, then the email address on, on the screen now um, is the, the one to get in touch with. Um, or you can respond back when we send you um, the webinar information. Um, also, just to mention, at the end, we will send you just a little bit of information um, around the, the key features um, with uh, Sparks Math. So you will get a breakdown um, of what the classroom feature is with lessons and also the homework feature as well. Um, but I hope you're all enjoying using Virtual Classroom. Um, I hope you're all safe and well and your students are all OK and your teachers with the remote learning. Um, if there is anything we can do um, at the moment to support you um, in any way, then please do um, keep on sending us information through the support um, pages um, and keep in touch. All right. Um, but if nobody else has got any questions, um, oh, I think we might I missed, them. Sorry, I missed the beginning bit, so I don't know if um, if this is the appropriate forum. Um, but um, when I'm searching for the objectives, when I'm doing the lesson plan, yeah, I feel as though it's not always giving me the comprehensive list. If I if I just put trigonometry in, it'll give me sort of five or six. And then if I put missing angles, it'll give me, say, 10. It'll say using trigonometry to find. So I didn't know if you had any little pointers on how to get the most out of those searches when I'm trying to find the objectives, please. Mm, absolutely. Um, have you been changing a couple of the different features where um, you can look through? So we have a couple of different options where you have Key Stage 3, um, or you have GCSE. Have, have you been exploring the different filters through the different content you can find? I've been trying to just put them on all because I thought, you know, if I stick it on all, it'll sort of give me everything. But maybe I'm asking it too much. I don't know. <laughs> um, what we will do, um, Angus, is I will. Um, so we have one of my colleagues on the call today, um, Emily. She is part of our support team. So what Emily will do now is just make a quick um, log of your name and then what they will do is send you some additional information um, to help you with that, if that's okay. Brilliant, great, thanks a lot. Can I take your name, please? Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's Angus Thompson. Sorry, I've not got the video on because I'm in Orkney and I've not got much internet. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, going, it's going flat out just to do this, really. Oh, yeah, I thought I recognised your name, Angus. Um, is uh, Kerry Bell here? I'm the one who actually spoke to one of your head teachers, I think, a couple of weeks ago. So, um, okay. yeah, Emily, you'll get in touch. I know which school that you're from. So, brilliant. We'll we'll school. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. That's great. Has anybody else got any other questions? Even if they're support, we can we can help you with anything like that as well today. no all okay okay well we will we'll close for now it is we've given you 10 minutes back of your time um but thank you ever so much for joining us um again today and we will be in touch soon and hopefully be here for another webinar um, with some more interesting things about sparks maps all right take care everyone bye